Happy day, Ben Buys Beverages. It's Monday, the day after Easter. So in order to celebrate the uh, Easter holiday, I'm gonna make another video. Tonight's video is extra fun because, one, I've got the camera at an odd angle so you can see the whole table to include my legs. No kilt tonight. <clears throat> but I've got some other fun stuff in addition to beer. Uh, but before you know what I'm talking about, I ask that you please click the like and subscribe buttons. Probably the notification thing as well. Anyhow, um, I like to back Kickstarters. And being a nerd, they're often role-playing game-related Kickstarters. One finally was delivered. Yay! And it's this lovely book here that you can't read because it's so far away. It is The City of Tears. It's an adventure written by Zarkov Kowalski out of Canada which ties in very nicely with tonight's beer. Now, this is a desert adventure, so for those of you who are into fantasy role-playing games and you're in need of a desert adventure, <coughs> this one covers the endless desert, the abandoned city, the Sultan's basement, the Imperial sewers, the labyrinth, the Pharaoh's tomb, and a miscellany of other items. But it's all desert-themed related, and in addition to this lovely hardbound, I got the neoclassical geek revival rules to play it properly. Not that I probably will. I'll add it to my bookshelf of other games that I own that I won't play. <coughs> Excuse me. As well as two adventures. The, uh, I can't even pronounce it. A barrow, so a good old-fashioned tomb raid, and then the gnomes of Levnik. I've read through this as PDF. I was excited to pick it up. If y'all like a twist at a mystery with a twist ending for your games, highly, highly, highly recommend the gnomes of Levnik. But you may have to convert it to your preferred rule set. Now, all that said, yay, go Canada, yay. Go Canadian beer. This is from the brewery Unibrow. Unibro, I still cannot pronounce it correctly. Don de Dieu, with very fine print upon the box. So, please. This sweet and full-bodied white beer packs a serious punch in more ways than one. An exquisite, complex taste brings together spice, malt, fruit, and yeast, not unlike Abbey-style wheat beers. It promises that every sip is a memorable moment, like the historic day when a group of First Nations people first set eyes on the Dame de Dieu, the ship carrying Samuel de Champlain and a lively crew. They proceeded to share a meal, get to know each other's ways, and celebrate the future together, which is lovely. And this box even includes a fruit pairing, white meat, mild sausages, or goat cheese. Had I known this, I'd have some available. And there's none of that in the refrigerator right now. So no pausing for fancy foods. That'll be something I do on my own. Um, where is it? It's a 9% alcohol. And down in the comments, be sure to tell me how badly I mispronounced the French in here. Because I'm fairly certain that I mispronounced both uh, Champlain's name as well as Don de Dieu. Old Reliable. With, with the foil around the metal cap. Can you see? No towel tonight. I hope I don't make a mess. Poor... Oh, oh! Now, I've had several other beers by this brewery. Uh, La Fin du Mon, I even made a video of. I love that stuff. End of the world. Tasty, tasty. Uh, three pistols or tres pistoles. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing any of it correctly. And so I apologize. All right. Can you see it? I guess I can see why it's called a, a white beer. It's very effervescent. You can see the bubbles. Well, maybe you can't, but I can. I can see the bubbles rising up.
I know you probably can't hear anything over the hum of the the air conditioner. That's Alabama. But it's bubbling nicely. Oh, it smells fruity and light and sweet. I'm really excited. It smells really good. Ooh, it's got some type of aftertaste on my lip. Hold on. Ooh, what is it? Maybe it's a, a little tangy. No, not really sour. It's got something. It's tasty, and this one's ice cold. For once, I let the beer sit in the refrigerator for about a week and a half. I'm learning. It's only taken how many videos? Um, oh, but this Belgian-style Imperial White Ale. Mm. It has me at a loss for words. I don't want to quite pucker my mouth. I don't know. I'm going to say 9 out of 10 bottle caps because there's something I, that I can't put my finger on. No doubt it's the, you know, the, the spices they talked about on the back of the box. Sorry, the side of the box. And it's tasty well enough. But yeah, 9 out of 10, uh, unibrow. And, oh, I'm well out of practice, for which I apologize. So, cheers!